Hello everyone. Today we will learn a FEA numerical by targeting a stress and strain problem. FEA is denoted as a finite elemental analysis. And for this numerical, we will learn that what are the basic steps we have to follow to complete this numerical. So, myself Kunal Sikatia and uh, I will make you learn today how to turn this sample element into this one to find it out the ultimate stress and strain. So let's move on to the next slide. What it is? <coughs> it is a basic steps for FEA numericals. So what are the steps? The first step will be the discretization. Discretization means that we have to convert this complete element or complete part into the small number of nodes or elements second part is formation of stiffness matrices where we will explain and we will find a stiffness matrix k which is denoted as a k in that one that will be the k1 k2 k3 i will let you know later on then we are having a global stiffness matrix that means that what K1, K2, K3 we have obtained in this stage number 2, we will do a summation of it in this global stiffness matrices. Then we are having a global load vector. That means what kind of force is acting on the bar that should be a compression, tensile, bending type, moment type, any kind of loads are acting on that one. That will be the summation of this all force in this matrix. Then we are having a global nodal displacement vector. That means that what parts we have created in this section that is called as elements. So elements having a nodes and this each and every nodes will have some kind of deformation or displacement in linear direction or transverse direction or rotary direction according to the loads what we are applying. It. So we will find a displacement of this nodes then we are having a assembly of global stiffness nodal displacement and load equations so what three we have obtained here point number three four and five that will be the equation of it that will be the summation matrix this ultimate matrix will help us to find it out the complete displacement of the nodes in the seventh we have to incorporate a boundary conditions what do you mean by boundary conditions? Boundary conditions means that where the bar is attached to the wall, both ends are fixed or not, in other conditions. Eight point. Solution of equations. For solution of equation, we require some equations also. So in this case, we are talking about stress and strain. So in the ninth point, we will find a stress and strain by using these equations. These equations will help us to find it out stress and strain so what will happen we will divide the element in the part then we'll find a matrix in the form of k then we'll find a formation of global stiffness matrix that means all the elements summation of this one then we'll find a load vector that means which kind of load compression or tensile then global nodal displacement vector that means displacements of the nodes then we'll find a stiffness nodal displacement and load equations that is called as a k into u is equal to f incorporation of specified boundary conditions then we will have some equations and we'll solve it then we'll get a elemental stresses so now in the next segment we will see one numerical and then we'll follow the step by step guide for 